Lucas Dostal getting the start in net tonight for Anaheim. And it's Arvid Soderbloom at the other end for the Hawks. Long point shot off of Dostal. Ryan Donato trying to get it through the neutral zone for the Hawks. Turned away. And Silverberg and Ross Johnston into the Chicago zone. Johnston centers off the stick of Soderbloom. Fowler streaking up that left wing. Just couldn't get him to puck. Here comes Bedard. Long wrist shot is in the glove of Lucas Dostal. But that one bounced away from Max Jones. Leeson recovers in the neutral zone. Storms back in and fires. And Soderbloom makes the stop. Johnston trying to backhand it up the boards. But that was sniffed out by Vlasic. Joey Anderson finds Seth Jones. And Dostal hangs on to his shot. Behind the net, Lacombe trying to center and it's tracked down by Strom, who skated right through the goal crease. Back for Mintyakov, Lacombe one timer blockered away by Soderbloom. I like to see the one timer from Lacombe there. Knocked out of the zone by Leeson. It's a foot race to the puck in the Chicago end. Leeson wins it. Leeson looks at Max Jones, looks him off, and now drops it back to the line. Fowler through traffic, and that's steered to the corner. Taylor Radish for the Hawks will feed it back to the line. Kevin Korczynski, former first-round draft pick, and that pass was redirected to the front of the net, trying to find Bedard. Hawks break out. Reichel with a nice little piece of stick handling, and here's Bedard. One-on-one -on -one with Lindstrom. Tries to make a pass, and it ricocheted off the Duck defender. Made his way to San Diego, and now made his way onto the Anaheim Ducks organizational roster. Here's Seth Jones trying to skate right in on Sukanik's good buddy, Lucas Dostal, and it popped over the net. Behind Bedard tries to wrap it around again, and it's covered. Seth Jones really jumping on his horse, and a little bit of confusion. You see two players a little bit uncertain about who was going to get the angle on Seth Jones. And so the big D just said, you know what, I'm going to keep on going. There are probably six to ten media members waiting for Bedard. McTavish finds Petrano in front, and Soderbloom turns him away. Let's have a look at it. Good saves, series of saves by Soderbloom, and there's the cross check. Tyler Johnson and Felino share the team lead with seven power play goals each. Bedard has just three, but he leads the team in power play points. Who does the honors? And Korchinski back to get it with just 10 seconds left in the Chicago man advantage. Jason Dickinson fires it off the skate of Athanasiu right to Dostal, and he'll freeze it. He and Myers at center, and Myers got it only as far as the strike. Ryan Donato turns back the other way. Seventh year man out of Harvard. Got it on net. And a good save by Dostal. Radish got to the rebound. Back to the line, Seth Jones leans into it, deflected, and fought off by Dostal. Cut off by Gus Lindstrom, good play there, and he'll angle it to center ice. Hooked into the middle for Vetrano by McTavish, his long wrist shot gloved off by Soderbloom. Watch a lot of games. Jones coughs it up, here's Terry, two on one, he'll take the shot way out with Soderbloom to kick it aside. Here's the play where Troy Terry pokes it away from Seth Jones. A clear-cut two-on-one. Pulls it into his wheelhouse. Look where the goaltender is perfectly positioned. Strom does the same, but Slaggart off a skate brings it right back in. Landon Slaggart takes the shot. Stick save. Dostal comes right back to the side of the net. You're feeling the pressure to produce. The team's having a tough time scoring goals. You can understand why you go there. Gus Lindstrom with a shot that's tipped in. And Anaheim strikes first. I think it's Kalorn who got a piece of this. Yeah, simple play, right? They go low to high. Change the angle of attack. Pass it across the blue line. All the result of a face-off win. And the Ducks have been doing a good job. And it's Carlson that wins it back. There's the shot. That puck's going about a foot wide. And Alex Kalorn looked like he was going to be all tied up. But he reached out. A little touch, pulled it back against the grain, and just over the glove of the goaltender. Kalorn steps in to take the draw. Silverberg sweeps it to Fowler. Across the top, Strom pulls it in, just missed. All the way to the goal line. Strom gives it back. Fowler's shot through traffic. The last college, U.S. college player to score that many goals in a season was eight years ago. That's Kyle Connor, who's done pretty good scoring goals at the National Hockey League level. Now of the Winnipeg Jets. Across the top, Zellweger gets it back from Kalorn. Into the slot. Nice pass. Carlson's shot fought off by Soderbloom. 
Dickinson stood up by Mitnikoff at the blue line, and Anaheim gets possession back. Nice job by Pavel there. Leeson into the Chicago zone. He scores! Use the defenseman as a screen, pulls it in. It's two to nothing. Well, that was a good rip by Brent Leeson, and you know, he has surprised a number of goaltenders this year. So the shooting angle is a little bit different if the goaltender is not set up on the puck and he's set up on the body. Boy, that was beautiful. He pulled the string on that. Watch him pull that puck into his wheelhouse and just snap it right through the legs of the defenseman. Establish a new career high for games played. Here's a loose puck and Leeson again got to it in the Chicago zone, but a diving effort by Megna knocked it away. It was the right idea. Unfortunately, that puck just bounced right over his stick. Myers and Mintyakov pick up the assist on the goal moments ago by Leeson. And here's a good save by Dostal. As again, the Ducks sloppy with the puck in their own zone. Taylor Radish had a shorthanded chance. Now Strom enters the zone, tried to find Vetrano, who keeps the puck alive. And now out high, it's Fowler. Into the bump position, Kalorn gives it back to Fowler. Vetrano's one-timer handled by Soderblom. Up the wall, pinching is Kaiser, the defenseman. His point covered by Reichel. Across to Tenorti, his shot gobbled up by Lucas Dostum. And Seth Jones trying to protect back in the Chicago zone. That was a good job by Carlson. He was pressuring Vlasic at the blue line, and Troy Terry sniffed that out. Here's Bedard, and that went high off of, I believe, the mask of Dostal. And Carlson is hurt. Oh, boy, it's his knee, John. All alone in front. Great save on Kurashev. Ducks third man advantage of the game. They're 0 for 2, but as you point out, it's the rare 4 on 3 for the first 56 seconds. Fowler takes a wrist shot. Cam, high slot, redirect from McTavish. Good save. Soderblom rebound for Terry. He missed a oh gaping my. net. McTavish across the top, gets it back from Zellweger. Fires it off the skate of Radish. Penalty is over. Bedard out of the box. Ducks still work in the Chicago zone. The open man is Kalorn, and he scores. Second of the game for Alex Kalorn. No oh, good things happen when you shoot the puck. We're going to be showing a lot of video about good things. Shooting the puck from everywhere. Kalorn just pulls that into his wheelhouse. Soto blooms down. So what watch the goaltender as he gets back up to his feet. And I always talk about moving into the puck. You see him reaching with the right leg. Terry cross ice. The Toronto missed on the short side. Chased around the boards by Terry, but it's Fowler with the keep. Half a minute of the two-man advantage. The Toronto has time. He scores. Number 30 for Frank. Well, he's been so close for so long and you know the Ducks have been looking for him pass from Cam Fowler he's allowed to step in and just puts it right up and under the bar it's a great shot from Frank he had time to really measure the goaltender and that's bar down the reaction says it all he had gone nine games without a goal before tonight. Fans come to their feet, and Lucas Dostal has his first career NHL shutout. The first of the year for the Ducks, leaving only the New Jersey Devils. As the only team in the NHL who don't have a whitewash, the Ducks get the win for nothing.